Hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube friends and family. It's your boy, GB Reviews. And today we are doing another hot sauce by the Hot Ones. It's called Da Bomb Evolution. Da Bomb Evolution. And the reason that this one is um, uh, kind of special is that we had a viewer, uh, a viewer request this. And um, I fortunately have it. And I said, well, they requested it. Let's do it. I don't know how hot it is. Um, I'm going to try it today. Um, I shouldn't try it before I go work out. But we're going to try it today. We're going to try it. I have some duck fat fries here. So I think it'll be good. I have some lime. Hopefully, I won't need it to calm down my mouth. And then I have a duck burger, which looks like a real beef burger. But it's actually a duck burger um, that I can just kind of get it off my palate if it's too hot. But anyway, it's the bomb evolution. I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but we're gonna try it out. First, we're gonna smell it though. Like always, let's see what it smells like. It may smell like, you know, chemicals or it could smell like a new summer day. We're gonna find out. Um, this one, it's not so bad. Um, it actually, you know what it reminds me of the way it smells? It smells like uh, one of the um, last dab sauces. So, I mean, this is it, the bomb evolution. Um, but it smells like a last dab sauce. It smells pretty good. Let's see what's in here. Um, cause you know, sometimes these things are just kind of crazy. It says red hot chilies have evolved and sauce design has changed in tandem. After traveling beyond insanity, we returned to the ground zero and found the final answer. This is the evolution, more sophisticated to bomb brutal heat from some of the hottest peppers known to man. Warning, this is sauce is extremely hot. Keep out of reach of children. Consume one drop at a time with extreme caution. Caution, And uh, it's manufactured by Spice and Foods. Um, it says ingredients, red hot chili peppers, water, vinegar, salt, spices, paprika, turmeric, cane sugar, garlic powder, extra virgin olive oil, onion powder, lemon juice concentrate, made in the US. Refrigerate after opening. And so nothing about the bomb evolution seems hot off i mean the smell makes it seem hot but it doesn't seem super hot we're gonna try it we're gonna go in we're gonna go in hard because i don't want to mess up my night but because you asked we're going for it so i don't know if that's a lot i don't know if you can see that it looks it may be a lot is that a lot that's uh, maybe a little bit too much anyway we're gonna put this here so you can look at this the bomb evolution Right, we're gonna turn the light up so you can get a better, or maybe it doesn't, oh, there we go. Anyway, here we go. The Bomb Evolution, um, like I said, it smells hot. It had a nice kind of floral smell. It smells like um, the last dab. Oh, wow. It definitely evolved because the taste is actually really good. I don't know why it's blurry, but I mean, it's hot. It's definitely hot. I can feel it on uh, on my tongue, on the roof of my mouth, but it's not insanely hot. If I had to guess what kind of peppers they put in here, mm. um, definitely not ghost. Um, Maybe habanero. Now I feel it in my in my stomach, in my throat. It's kind of hot, but not anything that's gonna throw me off. Definitely some cayenne in here, but it could be the cayenne I put on my pepper, my fries. I like it though. It is very tasty. I have to say, I am. Um, thoroughly impressed the nose is running so we know it's hot but now I could be paying for this I have no idea how this thing is gonna hit sometimes they hit different but I don't suspect this one will because it hasn't heated up yet I like this you know what we're gonna do I don't normally do this but we're gonna put some on duck I don't like their ruined duck duck fries one thing but I feel like this duck burger would taste even better with some da bomb on it. 
Mm. That's really good. It gives it a really good spice. Um, like I said, I can feel the heat now, but that wouldn't make me stop eating it. Um, my nose is running, but again, it's not unbearable. I can talk. I'm not like, oh, and my tongue is burning. I feel the heat in my tongue. I feel the, the heat back here. I feel the heat in my stomach, but not in my esophagus. All right, a little bit, but not too much. On a hotness scale, on my scale, I would say this is probably a seven and a half, maybe an eight, maybe a seven and a half. It's not super hot. But in terms of tastiness, the tastiness rivals the heat and so i would say the tastiness is probably seven and a half as well and and that's actually good because when you get the hotter sauces sometimes it's difficult to get the the heat and the um spice right and for this one they got it right um if you haven't tried the bomb evolution i would say definitely try the bomb evolution um, it's a good sauce to have in your collection of sauces just because it's like, like I said, it's not too hot, but it gives you a nice spice. It's not one of those ones that you could, uh, I guess you could probably cook with this, but the problem is the taste is so distinct that I think it would, um, it's not hot where it would mess your food up, but it, the, it's like putting Tabasco in your food. You would know that you put the bomb in there versus it blending and, and complementing the taste. It complements the taste on top as a kind of a accoutrement sauce, but I think you would have a difficult time trying to blend it in. Anyway, that's it for today. The bomb, I like. Again, thank you to Chris C for suggesting this. Um, I'm glad I, I did it and I like it. And so the bomb evolution, that's it. So your boy, I'm out. Subscribe and like. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for rocking with me. Subscribe and like below. Subscribe right below.